Hi, everyone. Um, so again, I'm going to reiterate um, a list of gratitude. So I also want to express my gratitude to the Frog and Bear Project and the TNG Global Network and McMaster University for providing this wonderful global platform as opportunity for me and other young scholars um, just from different parts of the world to come together and connect and enrich our understanding of Buddhism or Buddhisms, as Robert Campney likes to say, and share our work. Um, Vicky and Carol, I'm so appreciative of, you know, your organization managing the program and for your thoughtful communication and your daily dedication throughout the program. Um, I want to, again, thank the lecturers, Professor Chen and Professor Clark and Professor Z and Professor Zin for your research and your patience and your, you know, delivering great lectures despite the constraints of Zoom. Um, and also to the guest lecturers, Professor Goodman, Prof Professor Yu, uh, Professor Bauer, and Professor Scharf for just, you know, similarly stimulating lectures and the rich discussions that followed. Um, and all the participants, I am so appreciative of your presentations and questions and comments and this like enthusiastic daily exchange and the sharing of resources on the chat. Um, I I'm really pleased that I had the opportunity to take part in this program because especially now the, during this time of uncertainty because I was originally supposed to spend the summer in Kyoto in the Japanese language program and up until late March I was eagerly visualizing a summer full of excessive consumption of Japanese food and kind of weekend trips to temples and parks in Kyoto but unfortunately because of our you know work our work has this uh, international travel aspect to it so I'm sure we all had our share of disappointments and probably even real struggles in the last few months. So for this reason, I was really glad that I received the email, you know, relating that this intensive program is uh, about to take place and it became something to really look forward to. Um, reflecting on the last two weeks, I feel that participating in this program probably enhanced my development as a scholar in both very tangible ways and maybe in ways that are probably not entirely known to me at this moment. Um, in the short term, sharing my research here has been a great preparation for the AAS regional conference because I'm going to present the same research there. So receiving feedback, you know, was very valuable and helpful. Um, more generally, uh, the last, you know, the past two weeks I've been exposed to subjects of research that would probably, if it wasn't for this program, I probably wouldn't have had the chance to learn about in such depth. Um, I feel that the amount of content we covered very much reflects the innumerable nature of the Buddhist tradition. It feels inexhaustible. Um, however, now that I know more about Buddhist networks and economical aspects of Buddhism and about the nitty gritty of the Vinaya law and about the landscape of Buddhism in modern China and about the remarkable Buddhist art in Kucha, this new acquired knowledge has the potential to inform my own work and possibly even open new avenues of research uh, to me. Similarly, I've learned so much from the wealth and breadth of research presented here by the participants and from the questions and reflections you raised during the discussions. Even in so-called normal times, there is a level of disconnect that is just ingrained into being a graduate student. Um, so I think this feeling of disconnect is even more palpable uh, at this time. Therefore, what this program has provided so effectively and what I value and cherish most is the opportunity to interact with and learn from scholars from different institutions and backgrounds and just coming together despite travel restrictions and despite logistical hurdles to sustain and nourish this intellectual common ground that I feel we all very much depend upon. Um, to the participants, I hope that we can remain in touch in the long run and perhaps even create our own Buddhist network just to continue our conversations and support each other. And I hope I can meet you in person in another Frog Bear Summer Program or even other academic events or forums. I wish you all for now good health and just looking forward to seeing your future work. Thank you, everyone.